No? Deathpit.com? How dare you, Michael? Sit on my face, Michael. We're doing this again, by the way. No, just like so. I was at, I was actually talking to Sarah all day, and I was like, I fucking guarantee he won't go. What? <laughs> what the fuck? He's <laughs> nowhere to go. <laughs> I was like, I, I can't see. I just can't see this happening. But it is. It's fucking happening, son. We're going back to the future. So uh, this is the first dead pit on the road review that we have done in over eight years. That's what I was wondering, like how long has it been? I looked it up, it was uh, April of 2013. Uh, and it was for the Evil Dead remake. Oh that my was, God. Uh, that was remakes, you know, it was remakes galore back then. It was back in the, yeah. The remakes felt like rain. Now, not so much. It's reimaginings, reboots, and uh, tells them people over in the car staring at. <laughs> but, so this uh, is a sequel to a reboot. Yeah, Halloween. Uh, I watched Halloween 2018 uh, last night. And it's been a while since I've seen it. I still kind of like it, you know. It's not bad. Um, and this is a continuation of that night, right? It looks like it's set in a hospital. It is. It's like, kind of like Halloween 2, the original Halloween 2, I guess. Like it just picks up right where the other one left off. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't know, like, what to expect. I haven't read anything about this. I have no idea other than seeing the trailer. Right. So you can do cinematography with these modern cameras, but ain't that killer? Oh, that's killer. Oh, let's get it. Look at You could have had your cell phone and we can just go back and forth with it. You know what I'm saying? We can edit. So we're being trendy motherfuckers today, too. I wanted to say that and make fun of people. Yeah, we're, we're going to see it like what the day before it actually opens like it day before it comes out we're in lovely downtown harold kentucky i pre i'm through. predicting a sellout but you say you don't think so i'm not really sure then people are still over still staring at us i don't like it i Damn can't people believe that follows fucking all our people or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh it debuts tomorrow at like 3 a.m. on uh, the cock. Peacock. Peacock, it does, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's, tickets aren't very much. I mean, what were they? Eight, they're like eight bucks or something like that now. But Peacock is only $5. And you can gather the whole clan and watch it together. So, but for me, like, I've seen every Halloween movie since I was in high school in the theater. So I wasn't going to stop now. As long as there's still theaters around here, which we don't know how much longer there'll be, but yeah, there is right yeah, now. By the time the next one, uh, you know, comes along, it may not exist. We may yeah. have to go to fucking Somerset or something to go see a movie. <laughs> That'd be awful. But uh, I'm trying to figure out where the next movie theater would be, I don't even know. Ashland, the one in Ashland's not going away. Yeah. And by the way, uh, the Fathom Events. That Ashland Theater gets every bit of that shit. Oh, good. Because there, so, there another one coming up, too? Scream. Scream, yeah. That one may have already happened, though. Could have. I didn't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be good to check this movie out. David Gordon Green is returning. Uh, James G. Courtney <laughs> and Nick Castle <laughs> is returning. Uh, and so are a bunch of other, like, fuckers from the... Uh, first movie like Kylie Richards is that it? Like, yeah like, and uh, Anthony Michael Hall is returning no he wasn't in it Brian Andrews was in it they won't let him do I shit I Brian Andrews like fuck Brian oh. Andrews poor, poor old Brian Andrews is on fucking Facebook trying to sell autographs and shit you got old fucking Anthony Michael Hall's ass in this I hope they cut him out of it I don't, that's one actor that I've never been a fan of little Anthony Michael Hall no he sucks 
it just makes you wonder though, why couldn't they bring Brian Andrews in? Like they brought everybody else in, basically. My guess is is it's gonna be more of a there's more of a role in it. Maybe uh, you have to poor old Brian Andrews and I ain't acting since he was twelve. So. Trying to tell me Brian Andrews can't carry that film? Probably not. They could have brought back Paul Rudd. They could have, man. That would have been killer. But they don't those movies don't exist in this world. So that's that's, that's what you probably be like. That's what you got to realize is these movies do not exist. Uh, what was it, part two? Yeah. Through, all, well, after part two, they don't exist. Right. They're like, no. So, uh, Halloween Kills. We're going to see how crowded the theater is. Have we ever said that? No. It's like deja vu. We ain't done this shit so long. You, you ain't got the same old white car, though, or do you? You just ain't driving it today. No, I, I, I sold that thing. Hey, about four or five years ago. That thing was legendary. The Malibu? Yeah. You got a lot of uh, Malibu in the Malibu back in the day? <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of Malibu. So, that thing was really only held together by rust. You want to you wanna step inside the Malibu? Yeah, back in the day. That the whole song. That PCC. Huh? The Malibu song by Hole. Ah, buddy. I. I don't like hole close in. <laughs> so, uh, they can stick hole up their hole. Uh, but yeah, we will get back at you when we're in the theater and uh, see what's what. And uh, we do need to review Halloween 2018 too at some point. I guess it don't really fucking matter now that we never did review it. <laughs> I don't know how we never did either. But. Yeah, that'll come at some point. Hmm. The river fell down. <laughs> pack and the, diddle. <laughs> what? I said pack and diddle attorney. Pack and diddle attorney <laughs> at law. They're going to diddle you. <laughs> so this is the only theater left in Eastern Kentucky. It really the is. And uh, this is a big night for, uh, oh God, for horror movie fans. So I wonder how many horror movie fans are uh, ready for. Uh, <laughs> Let's take a look. Halloween thrill. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it don't look too good. Damn it to hell. I don't feel like that. There's going to be a lot of people here. Yeah, because evidently there's two showings for this, too. They're doing of course, we are. Right? Let's get this in about 35 minutes early. So We are 35 minutes early, but there isn't one that starts at 7, too. Oh, is it? Yep. Well, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Um, so, final thoughts. I predict it'll be better than the first one. Let's see what happens. It's gonna suck. <laughs> no, it ain't. Woo! God damn. We're going to be trendy as fuck tonight, Uncle Bill. Because we've seen this more than, uh, well, there's been probably a few people that seen it before us, but the majority of the people haven't. They're probably still watching reviews and shit and are wondering if it's worth going to check out. Is it worth going to the movie theater to check out Uncle Bill? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, evil's gonna die tonight. It's gonna fucking die like 500 If you didn't miles. know, your ass better call somebody. That's their motto in this You book. better watch this movie. This movie. Damn slogan. So we were talking about before the, uh, the movie, Brian Andrews is the original Tommy Doyle, and of course he was replaced, and we were wondering why. Well, Tommy Doyle, the character, is one of the main, um, I guess, he's the main character in this movie. Right. So they hired the, the thespian actor, uh, Anthony Michael Hall, from The Breakfast Club, and uh, Weird Science, and Hell, those movies are like third. Those movies are about forty years ago. And he was in the Dead Zone, though. Uh, the TV, TV show. Yeah. yeah, he, he was, was in the shooting. I don't even know what to say about this movie, really, except like within the first twenty minutes, like I knew we were in trouble. <laughs> I really did, because there's a lot of flashbacks and stuff like that, and there's a lot of like really, really bad acting. And even worse, like dialogue. Like, so we were laughing through the whole fucking movie, basically. Like, yeah. some of the shit they were saying. And 
Real quick, Anthony Michael Hall, I, I, I hate him still. Yeah, he was awful. Like, most people in this movie were awful, actually. Yeah. So, like, the whole story is it's a continuation of the, the original, you know, the, I don't even know, 2018 version yeah. of Halloween. And they introduce you to the Tommy Doyle character, the bar. He's, I don't know, he's gathered around a bunch of other drunks at the bar in Haddonfield, which includes the uh, uh, Nancy Stevens character, Kyle Richards was there. They had the Lonnie character uh, from the, I think the character was briefly in Halloween. Right, you remember uh, Dr. Lewis? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Lonnie. Yeah. Nancy Stevens has got to be somebody's great grandma at this point. <laughs> She's in it. Jesus Christ, what uh, about Charles Cyphers, man? Charles Cyphers looks like a burn victim now. I don't know. <laughs> That's why he, he always had the beard, I'm guessing, right? Because he, I don't know what the hell happened to his face. But poor old Charles Cyphers is like 90 years old. Um, but yeah, they're telling the story. It's 40 years ago tonight, and all this shit happened in Haddonfield, whatever. And then while we're there, they hear that that Michael was killing again. Right? So they gather up, uh, you know, a big old uh, bunch of locals, local Had Haddonfieldians, <laughs> to uh, take care of Michael tonight. Evil dies tonight. So you're like, there's so much about this movie though. It was like a uh, a mob kind of mentality movie where the theme was is that Michael Myers drives the whole town insane, basically, mm -hmm. and like the fear and everything gets to them, and because the fear gets to them, like they turn on each other, and yeah, there's this whole narrative running through the movie which I hated, and then like they tried to have like a message. To the to the right. movie, and it was like just absolutely ridiculous. Like, and some of the dialogue, the, the monologues that they were doing in this fucking movie and shit, was just like I was just cringing. Like you couldn't, I don't know how you could write this shit and actually like deliver it without laughing. Yeah, it is pretty bad. Anthony Michael Hall does a terrible job in the role as well. I mean, even though the material's not that good. No. Um, also, there's like a in the what opening 10 minutes of the movie it's like a um, a rewriting of what happened at the end of the original Halloween um, trying to explain in this universe what happened because you know the the end sequence where Loomis shoots Myers out of the second story of the house and he falls and he just vanishes that never happened but you've got a weird version, like a CGI version of Loomis. It, it doesn't look too bad other than the fact that it looks like Donald Pleasance needs a water pill. <laughs> His I mean, face is fucking swelled up like fucking Arn Anderson or something. From a distance, I thought like they did some sort of like, you know, CG stuff to the face. Then they show him like a little too close to you like, oh yeah, it's just some dude that kind of slightly resembles Donald Pleasance. I don't know. Was that what it was? I don't yeah, know. I think, yeah. Okay, so they got a they got a Donald Pleasance lookalike that's just a little. They couldn't put him on a diet or something. Have him lose a little <laughs> bit of weight. Just like, like, I don't know where they found this guy. At. Fat Donald Pleasance. <laughs> Fat Donald Pleasance. Um, and then, really, Jamie Lee Curtis's character is not in the movie very much. It focuses a lot on her granddaughter and her daughter. Poor old Judy Greer, been in every fucking thing. Yeah, I mean, the whole time in the movie, like uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is in a hospital, and she can't really like move or do anything. So I don't know what the what the big point in having her in that fucking movie was, to be honest. No, I mean they probably could have shot her stuff in probably under a week, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but I feel like that everything that the 2018 version did right, this movie did wrong. Like everything, they had way like they didn't leave enough to the like imagination 
they had way too many like actors in it, like trying to have like little scenes, little cameos, little yeah, tributes. Yeah, and like they were all horrible. And they didn't just uh, instead of just trying to be simple, which is their biggest mistake in this movie, in my opinion. Instead of just just being a simple like you know stalk and slash kind of movie, it's a simple kind of premise. They tried to add like some sort of fucking ham fisted like jam some sort of message into the movie about the mob and the evil and all that shit. It's like that's just fucking silly. Yeah, I mean the I guess the one of the police officers that was part of the back I, yeah, the think. back story that um, you know he was involved that night. They recreate character. They create characters from that. You know, 78 that never existed. Um, technically, it was well made. It was like the uh, the 2018 movie. It looked just like it. You could probably edit those two movies together. Right. But the problem, I think the problem is just the content of what was done in it. Um, I don't really have a huge problem with it just because I remember the Rob Zombie movies. I don't think it's nearly as bad as those movies was. And they put enough homages in there to where, like the Halloween 3 masks, you see that. Yeah. They have the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital costumes and all that. But it's nowhere near the level of the 2018 movie. It's, it's, I couldn't, I remember, I think Sean Clark, when we talked to him last week, he was like, what's well, an improvement over the, over the 2018 movie? No, no. I don't believe, I don't, you I know, don't think it was. I don't think so. I honestly, like, I fucking hated it, except for the end, <laughs> where, like, the, the main end, I was like, all right, that's a pretty cool, like, little, you know, twist and ending and things like that, too. Um, I enjoyed that because that's kind of like uh, you know what should have happened I guess if you're you know following the, the movies and stuff like that ending is kind of like the, the fantasy of what should happen but like all the rest of the movie leading up to that I was just shaking my head like I could not believe some of the decisions they made just some of the throwaway shit like that other mental patient and stuff like yeah and uh, the gay couple that just, uh, just, that cracked me up though they played some Ann Murray yeah goodness and I got a kick out of that but um yeah I mean they're they're clearly setting up the third movie which ultimately towards the end there's not really a point I mean they've kind of throughout this movie they there's not really a connection anymore between the Laurie Strode character and Michael Myers no. Like, they kind of tried to do away with that. Of course, in the first, you know, they, part two didn't exist, so they're not related anymore. Um, but, yeah. I'm just going to be spending the whole time scratching my head and trying to figure out what the fuck they were doing. Like, were they just, like, rushed too much to, like, get it out there? Like, it's been three years. No, know? I don't think they were rushed at all in this because I think this was done for over a, probably a year and a so half. I don't understand that, man. Like, I mean, you can make... Like, Halloween 2, the original Halloween 2, was much more of a slasher, had much higher body count, but was still, like, a fairly decent movie. You can do both. Like, this movie had a really high body count, but everything else about it was silly as fuck. Had some uh, good good dance sequences, and yeah. uh, our favorite bloke, James G. Goldie. He does a good job. He does I think he's job. a good I'll Michael give, Myers. I'll I, give him that. Yeah. I would love to know which scenes Nick Castle plays Michael Myers. Have they ever really said? No. I know Nick Castle's the smaller of the two, but not by much. I guess he probably, was he like in the flashback sequence or something? Could Maybe. Be. That would the flashback, sense. I really did like the flashback sequence because technically it looked like the first movie. I don't know how they did that, yeah. but the lighting and the set and everything. So that was cool. Um, but Halloween Kills is a is a good name for this movie because Michael Myers kills pretty much every fucking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to give like, it, give you spoilers or anything. And normally that would be great for me too because I love like movies like that where it's just kind of crazy. But like, there's just something about this movie. 
they, they change so much about the mythology and there's so much that they change that doesn't work and it's just kind of like mean spirited and stuff too like I think you could make these type of movies and not be kind of mean spirited about it as well uh, just the tone of it is just, yeah, I mean, it's technically well made. I think it's not that great. It's be I think it's better. Would you say it's better than the Rob Zombie ones? Yeah, it's definitely better. But goddamn, that's like really like. <laughs> well, some people, some youngsters out there, champion the Rob Zombie movies. People even like fucking. I saw a stupid motherfucker get a thirty-one tattoo. You dumb fucker. That probably wasn't the move. <laughs> I can regret that later on. Yeah, that movie fucking sucks. <laughs> it's like, I have never been able to get through that entire movie. It's like getting a tattoo of final exam or something. Just didn't make any sense. Yeah. I guess that's it. I uh, don't want to really give anything away. I'm sure everybody will be checking this out on the, on the cock. It'll be debuting on the cock sometime later tonight, probably. But, I was uh, thinking, because Savannah and the kids wanted to, to watch it, I'm going to be like, dude, I mean, we can if you want to waste twenty dollars. Watch it, but you know. Yeah. Uh, like. Yeah, it's it's nowhere. It's not even in the same universe or stratosphere as the twenty eighteen movie. And I not that the twenty. Like, I, and yeah, like I don't think the twenty eighteen movie was like amazing, but it was a solid film. So whereas, like, I feel like the acting and the script and. The, Everything, the action set pieces and everything were like solid, and this one just didn't have any of that shit. Yeah. I didn't think. So, anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed. This was a Patreon requested review. Um, but to be honest with you, we were probably going to do this anyway, what do you think? Yeah. It was kind of so. Who's, who knows? Tom Atkins may. We may do some more of these eventually. I think the new Scream movie's coming out in January. I don't have high hopes for that. <laughs> that looks, yeah, that Scream 4 was fucking terrible. But I don't know. We'll see. But uh, until next time, I'm the Creepy Kentucky. And I'm Uncle Bill. Check us out. Over at DeadPitch.com. Oh, 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 Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. Or I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell.